Hi there Wondrous fans, welcome to Bay 46 for another week. My name is James Trudinik. Now Christmas may be behind us, but the most wonderful time of the year is right now. Because this Saturday is the Sydney Derby. Western Sydney Wanderers taking on Sydney FC this Saturday night at Pertec Stadium. Now to celebrate the occasion, we're going to take a look at what separates a derby and makes it bigger and better than a regular season game. And we're going to start with the thing, or one of the many things, that the club of the Wanderers does better than any other club in the A-League, and that is the pre-game march. What you're looking at now is vision from past marches with the Wanderers and as you can see there are thousands of people from all walks of life, many different ages, many different demographics all coming together for one cause and in one voice to support the Wanderers. Now in the case of the Sydney Derby, it's about so much more than just the game. It's a celebration. It's a celebration of where we're from but more importantly it's a celebration of who we are. The march is where it all starts. Wanderers fans creating energy and an atmosphere that travels through Parramatta and into Perth Tech Stadium. And as we know, Pertec Stadium in full voice is an atmosphere that no other A-League club has been able to replicate. Now the fact is, the Wanderers haven't won a derby since season two, but that's not a fact that we're shying away from. In fact, it fuels the fire even more and makes us want to beat the old enemy just that extra little bit more. And given that, there are still, however, some magnificent derby moments that have happened at Pertec Stadium over the last few years. Last season, derby number two, ACL hero Tommy Juric who is now making waves overseas in Europe, scored this amazing goal to take us up in derby number two. And in derby number three, fan favorite Karem Bullet, who has also left us unfortunately, scored this amazing brace and celebrated in his trademark style with the RBB. Our last derby win in season two came thanks to Brendan Sandlap, who scored in the dying minutes, jumped over the barricades and celebrated with the RBB. And though he's missed more football in recent past than he would have liked, he is fighting for full fitness. And who's to say, we won't see it again. Now realistically speaking, this game could go either way. Though the Wanderers do sit second on the table, Sydney FC have crept up and only three points behind us. This game could come down to an individual moment of brilliance from a player from either team. Both teams have players that can pull it off. For the Wanderers, for me, that player is Mark Bridge. The 30-year-old has scored five goals from five consecutive games this season and has assisted two others. He also sits fourth on the all-time goal scorers list in the Hyundai A-League and considering he's not an out-and-out -out striker, I'd say that's pretty darn impressive. For Sydney FC, it's some bloke named Philip Velosco. After a tepid start to his Hyundai A-League career, Velosco is beginning to hit his stride. Part playmaker, part finisher, the Slovakian international found the net for the fifth time last week and Graham Arnold will be hoping his marquee man carries his newfound form into the second half of the season. But that's all of us for another week of Bay 46. Don't forget, the Western Sydney Wanderers play Sydney FC, the old enemy this week, Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. at Pertec Stadium. I'll see you there. Looking forward to it. My name is James Trudinik. I'll see you next time.